Shalom and welcome everybody. We're coming to you from our beautiful sanctuary. As always, you can find a link to the prayer book pages PDF for the service in the comments. Important information will appear in the comments during the service. And for that, we thank Dave Zucker, Peter Pizer, and Aviva Simons who are managing our streaming. Please say hi if you're watching by typing Shabbat Shalom in the comments line. 
you're going to have to learn how to type Lashana Tova Lashana in a couple of weeks, <laughs> right? Because it's coming. Start and it's going to be a Friday now. and Saturday. So. <laughs> Just a reminder that the page numbers are at the bottom, and we are uh, using the um, numbers in the brackets if you have two sets. Uh, please go ahead and find Mishkan Fila uh, Shabbat morning service, Roman numeral number two. But if you're using our PDF, uh, just, just every page. Every page we're using. So we're making that easy for everybody. If you still have issues uh, with any of our uh, streaming, please feel free to call or text 913 303 1134 and somebody will be, uh, try to help you as soon as we can. If you have other feedback about our services, please, uh, we ask you that you take notes and uh, send us an email during this week or a phone call, whatever works for you, or a text message <laughs> or a Facebook message, but during the week, and uh, we appreciate and thank you in advance for taking the time to give us some feedback. Welcome, everybody, again, and Shabbat Shalom. Our service will continue now on page 288. As we together thank God for having restored our souls in mercy and being able to celebrate this Shabbat, this beautiful day you can see outside. And it's a long weekend, really a pretty. holiday weekend. Yeah. Stay safe, but have some fun also with uh, your close friends and families. Mode Ani is on page 288. Mode Ani Lefanecha Melechai Vekaya Shehechazarta Binishmati Bechemla Bechemla Rabba Emunatecha Rabba We continue together on page 291. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe. With divine wisdom you had made our bodies, combining veins, arteries, and vital organs into a finely balanced network. Wondrous maker and sustainer of life, were one of them to fail, how well we are aware we would like the strength to sustain life before you. Blessed are you, Adonai, source of our health and strength. Baruch ata Adonai, rofechol basal umafli la'asot. Page 293, we begin together 
reciting the blessings for our daily miracles, Nisim Bechol Yom. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Natan Lesech Vivina Lehachvin Ben Yom Uven Laila Amen Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Pokeach Ivrihim Amen Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Matiu HaSurim Amen Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Zokev kefufihim. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Rokah haaretz al hamayim. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Amechin mitzad egaver. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Malbish arumim. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Anoten la yahev kohav. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Hamavir shena menai utnuma me'af apai. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Sheasani betzelem Elohim. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Sheasani bachorin. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Sheasani Israel. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Ozer Yisrael b'gvura. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Oter Israel betifara. Amen. On the middle of page 302, we join together in Tzadik Katamar. service continues on page 306 as it concludes this section of the service Pezuke de Zimwa, the Psalms of Praise
bottom of the page we join together in Or Hadash. Or Hadash al-Ziyon al-Ziyon Or Hadash al-Ziyon al-Ziyon We prepare for the recitation of the Shema. We begin with the blessings before on page 317 and then we move right into 318 and 19. O oh God, inspiration and guide for all, you have spoken in a thousand tongues for us to hear. In every land and every age, your children have heard you and imagined you in separate ways. And yet, O oh God, you are one unifier of humanity. We give thanks for the sages and teachers who bring us understanding of your will. Gratefully, we recall the lawgivers and prophets, the psalmists and sages of Israel. And joyfully, we remember that from the dawn of Israel's life, we would turn to you and find purpose. May the teachings of our ancestors live on in our minds and their passion for righteousness stir our hearts. Help us to live so that our daily conduct reveals the beauty and wisdom of your truth. Baruch atah Adonai, ha'bochev e'amo Yisrael me'ahavo. Bechol <laughs> 
ושוך בך ובקומך, וקשרת מאוד על ידיך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבת על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך, למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, ואיתם קדושים לעולכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אדוני אלוהיכם אמת. Page 322, we continue with Mi Chamocha, and just a reminder, we are singing many of our, actually most of our, Yeah. main prayers with the tunes that we will use for high holidays that's the tradition in the month of Elul and we are now uh, towards the middle of Elul <laughs> When I take a moment for our Amida, our silent standing prayer, the Tefillah, it begins on page 322 and it moves through 323 and then goes all the way to 337. Uh, this is a moment for each one of us to pray individually as a community through the internet, through the, through the streaming, but it's also a time for uh, some quiet meditation and prayers if that's what you uh, choose to do. So please join us on Tzur Yisrael on page 322 first. Tzur Yisrael, kuma bezrat Yisrael, uvdehin umecha, Yehuda ve'Yisrael, ko'alin u'ranai t'vehut shemu, k'edosh Yisrael, Baruch Atah Adonai Kul Yisrael Adonai Sifatai Tiftachu Fi Agit Tehilatecha Adonai Open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise.
Our service continues now with the service for the reading of the Torah, and it begins on page 367 with Al Shlosha Devagim. <laughs> promised we were going to take the Torah scroll out again after we were done with those B'nai Mitzvah, uh, B'not Mitzvah. Uh, and here it is. Uh, our Torah reading um, uh, can be found in a link uh, in the comments and it was also in the e-news and it should go to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 26 verses 1 through 8. It's from Parashat Ki Tavo. The parasha, the story portion, opens with two liturgical declarations uh, that begin on verse 1 and go all the way th uh, through verse 15. But today we're only going to read the first uh, of those declarations. Now what, what do we mean by uh, liturgical declarations? So... Uh, the prescriptions given in the book of Deuteronomy indicate that when a farmer would bring the first fruits to the temple 
that is stood in Jerusalem each year, they will give the poor a tithe in every third year, and then uh, they will take uh, the food, the harvest, to the temple and make a certain declaration. And there are only very few instances in the Torah that the precise wording that what must say uh, are actually contained in the Torah. I know this sounds strange, but basically there are no, there, there are no prayers in the Torah. Uh, we use some of the texts from the Torah as prayers today, the Shema being one of them in the book of Deuteronomy, but in their context, they were not prayers. But these actually happen to be liturgical prayers. It says, when you go and you do this particular action, these are the words that you will say. And we don't know exactly when this took place because uh, the Torah doesn't give us a date. And this is not a holiday in particular. Uh, we do have a holiday uh, in Shavuot that is called Chag Abikurim, the festival of the first fruits. But that's no indication in this text that that's what we're talking about. And the reason perhaps is because uh, different farmers will have different uh, harvests at different time and different fruits, and that varies. Uh, this is a totally unrelated subject. Yeah. However, I was checking out um, the sunflowers <laughs> to see where <laughs> you can go and see them. And we've been to Grinter uh, several times, and I was wondering, are there other places? And they are, but what I didn't realize is that they plant the different kinds of uh, sunflowers at different times. So other places uh, are already passed or they're coming up. Oh, I did not know that. I didn't know that. And I knew kind of because if you've ever grown, and I have, uh, um, sunflowers, they grow pretty fast. So yes, if you plant them, uh, they could flower in July or August, September, and into October. Anytime. Wow. So you can have several harvests. So not related, but it's the same idea that when you get the first fruits, it could be different times, different seasons, and different years could vary because uh, of the irrigation or the water, the mm -hmm, sun, mm -hmm. and all those different things. So, um, so this first fruit ceremony uh, leads the farmer from uh, a recognition of the fertility of the land, and this is one we already are in the land of Israel, to an awareness of where all this comes from, and everything seems to come uh, from one source, and that is God. Now, uh, the actual text, uh, you all know it. You say, wait a minute. There are not a lot of texts that you know by heart, you, you know, know, like the Shema, but this one you actually know, okay. or um, you have recited it, uh, all your lives, if you've done this since a child, during the Seder. The words are, Arami Oved Avi Veyered Mitzayma. My father was a wandering Aramean, and he went down to Egypt with blah, blah, blah. I did not know that came from this parsha. There you go. So, uh, I know I've said this before, and you can check, fact check me, uh, what I meant, I said before, this is one of the most important Torah portions. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually is, because this actually, this particular text encapsulates uh, some of the most basic teachings uh, about our tradition. And that they are that, you know, we were a slave people, we sojourned in Egypt, and we call out to God, and God answered us and uh, delivered us and then brought us to this land, which, you know, so the farmer is now standing at the temple in Jerusalem, and he's recalling the whole uh, oh, sacred sure. history of the Jewish people, with wow. one additional detail that it's really unique to uh, the Torah, and it is that uh, unlike other ancient traditions, in this particular case, it is clear that God has a role in history, and that's probably one of the most uh, characteristics or the most original features of the Hebrew Bible. And at this particular uh, moment, what he is declaring, uh, the farmer, is really what is at the heart of mono monotheism that acknowledges 
God behind uh, the power behind all phenomena, and this is now uh, not only the natural phenomenon, which that was common, you know, that to say the deities were behind natural phenomena, but now, now meaning 3,000 years ago, <laughs> uh, we have a text that says that also God is behind historical events. And that is a departure from uh, all other traditions. But I think that this text is so important because it goes uh, to the core of really what it means to be Jewish. It really, it's a, a rare instance uh, that we find in the Torah. And this one in particular says, what is being Jewish all about? And I think that what uh, the Torah teaches us in this case is that being Jewish means that you find a place for yourself in a larger Jewish story. Mm -hmm. And this is what the farmer is doing. And this is why we read it every year in the Passover Haggadah. We say we were, we say we were slaves in Egypt. Our father was an Aramean who wandered around and we were enslaved and oppressed. And it's all about anu, 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 nu, nu, nu. You'll hear in the text over and over. So in many ways, uh, wherever the Jews find themselves, of course, at the temple in Jerusalem, it was very clear that they were Jewish and that was part of their identity. Uh, but anywhere we go, and this is why I think that, uh, and many people agree, that the <laughs> Passover is the central uh, holiday of the Jewish people, because that really talks about who we are as a people and how we are connected not only to nature, but to history, to each other, through God's actions in history. It is uh, the story of a people who were liberated from slavery and were allowed to celebrate freedom, and everything else depends on that particular narrative. So I, you know, this is one of my favorite texts uh, in the entire Torah, and here it's, it's called, sometimes it's called the Deuteronomistic Creed, or oh. uh, which means you know, like an affirmation of yeah. what the faith of Israel is all about. Uh, others also call it the declaration or the confession of the Bikurim of the first fruits. Vidui Bikurim, it's another uh, name that the rabbis give to this text. But whatever you call it, it is probably one of the most central uh, texts, if not the central text in the entire Torah about what it means to be Jewish. I, I mean, that's cool. That's, 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 I mean, that's, that's, cool. that's as good as it gets, I think. So now we're going to get to uh, hear it um, from the Torah scroll itself. And uh, we are, again, on page... I'm sorry, on page uh, 369 as we recite the blessings before uh, we read in the Torah. This alternative blessings that we can all recite together. Holy One of Blessing, your the presence, presence fills, fills creation. creation. You we have enlightened this path with the wisdom of Torah, Torah giving it to the Jewish people as their particular way. Blessed are you, Merciful One, one who gives this Torah to the, to the Jewish, Jewish people. people. Amen. Vehaya kitavo el aretz asher Adonai Elohecha noten lach nachala veirashta ha veyashavta ba ha velakachta ha mereshit kol pri adama asher tavi me aretzecha asher Adonai Elohecha noten lach besamta. Vaten, vaten, be alachta el amakom, asherif har adonai elohecha le shakem shemoshaham. Uvata el hakohehem, asher ihie bayamim hahehem. Ve amarata elav, higadeti hihi hayom, ladonai elohecha. 
כי באתי אל הארץ אשר נשבע אדוני לאבותינו לתת לנו. ולקח הכהן את עיניהם מידיך, והיא ניחוה לפני, לפני מזבח אדוני אלוהיך, וענית ואמרת לפני אדוני אלוהיך, ארמי עובד אבי היא, וירד מצרימה ויגושה מפני מעד. ויהי שם לגוי גדול עצום ורב, ויראו אותנו המצרים, ויעננו וידנו עלינו עבודה קשה, ונצעק אל אדוני אלוהי אבותינו, וישמע אדוני את קולנו. וירא את עניינו, ואת עמלנו, ואת לחצינו, ויוציאנו אדוני ממצרים, ביד חסקה ובשרוע נטויה ובמורא הגדול, ובאותו הוד ובמופתים. We're back on the alternative blessings after the reading of the Torah. Holy One of Blessing, your presence fills creation. This Torah is a teaching of truth, whole and balance, and from it comes eternal life. For the people who embrace it, blessed are you, merciful one, who gives this Torah to the Jewish people. We now think of our loved ones, those in need of healing, our friends and relatives. We have, of course, a list that you can find in the e-news that you received yesterday. You can also follow the link in the comments. If you like to offer names at this moment, type them in the comments so we can all see them. Please go ahead and type them. And the Misha Berak is on page 370. offer a prayer for those in need of healing. We also think of those who help in healing, especially first responders and health workers all over the world during this pandemic. May the one who blessed and let our forebearers give countenance unto those who provide help for the ill and troubled among us. May they be filled with fortitude and courage, endowed with sympathy and compassion, as they give strength to those at their side. May they fight against despair and continue to find within themselves the will to reach out to those in need. And in their love of others, may they feel the blessing of community and the blessing of reunion. Thank you. 
service for the reading of the Torah concludes on page 374 with Etz Chaim. <laughs> we prepare for our moment of remembrance, I invite you to turn to page 593. In nature's ebb and flow, God's eternal law abides. When tears dim our vision or grief clouds our understanding, we often lose sight of God's eternal plan. Yet we know that growth and decay, life and death, all reveal a divine purpose. God, who is our support in the struggles of life, is also our hope in death. We have set God before us and shall not despair. In God's hands are the souls of for all the living and the spirits of all flesh. Under God's protection we abide, and by God's love are we comforted. O life of our life, soul of our soul, Cause your light to shine into our hearts and fill our spirits with abiding trust in you. As we gather on this Shabbat, we think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us. We especially think of the Shloshim period for Rosalie Sternick, mother of Frank Sternick, and Jean Horowitz, husband of Sue Horowitz. And on this Shabbat, we we'll remember the following yurt sites of members of our congregation. Susan, Diane, Shokran, Anne Dubrov, Joseph Hamovitz, Miki Clegg, Samin Kucherovsky, Zita Agnes Kuhn, Mary Stitch Lilly, Betty Moskowitz, Harold Meyer, Rosalie Schoenwetter, Edna Shaw, Howard Shaw, Yaakov Schuhklapper, Philip Spiesman, Louis Cram Turner, Brian Yodler, Robert Zapula, Ross Zucker. If you're joining us on the Shabbat and remembering a loved one, we invite you to type their names in the comments line. We take all these names. Zichronam Livracha, may the memories be for a blessing. On page 598, we join together in Kaddish Yatom, the mourner's Kaddish. It gadal vid kadash shemei rabba, be'alema divra chirute ve'amlich malchute, be'chayachon uv'yamechon, uv'chayei dechol be'it Yisrael, ba'agala uv'izman kari, v'imbu, amen. יהא שמר רבא מברך לאלמ ולאלמי אלמיה יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתadar ויתעלה ויתחלל שמי דקוד השא בריחו לאלה מין כל בירחתה ושירתה תוש בחתה ונחמתה דא אמירם באלמה וימבו אמן יהא שלמה רבא מין שמיה לחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל וימבו אמן אסא שalom וימבו מאב הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. Before we each go our way on this uh, Shabbat morning. Do we have announcements? We have some announcements. <laughs> 
And first, I'd like to thank everybody who's joined us uh, from our area and from around the world. Special thanks to Leslie Zucker for the beautiful music this morning, and to Dave Zucker, Aviva Simons, and Peter Pizer for helping our congregation have a virtual presence. Just a reminder that while we are now open during regular business hours, you must have an appointment to be let into the building and our entire staff can be reached by calling our office during our regular hours. Our next Facebook live Shabbat service will be Friday, September the 11th at 6.30 p.m. If you would like to join us for Torah study, our Sichat Shabbat will take place next Saturday at 9 a.m. on Zoom. Just a reminder that if you would like to attend one of our High Holy Days uh, opportunities in person, uh, you must respond by September the 10th. Coming up, uh, this is just next week. This is the last time we will make that particular, particular announcement, announcement from the BIMA. Yeah. Information and reservation links are found in our e-news. Selichot is coming up too, so next Saturday, September the 12th, we will have our community service. It starts at 8.45, and it will include Havdalah. Watch your e-news for the link uh, to come together as a community over our screens. Uh, the service, that particular service, will not be on Facebook Live. My next song session, our next song session, it's not mine actually, it's for all y'all. So that's Wednesday, September 9th, continuing our music of Elul and the High Holy Days. And also we have one more Thursday conversation with Rabbi Mark Levin. That's Thursday at 7 on the Zoom, the link is in your e-news, with one of my favorite titles of the series, But I Didn't Commit Those Sins, Why Am I Repenting? It's also one of my favorite parts of the service that we do that together, so... That's it. Thank you, everybody. Please check us out on Facebook, like our page, and leave us our comments about the service and other virtual events. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks for the reminder. Uh, um, we had a beautiful gift from the Mitzvah Garden. They dropped them off for Shabbat, and uh, we have lovely flowers from their garden. It's our Mitzvah Garden. It's a community yes. event, so we thank them for that lovely gesture. And, and Brighton, I, it, it really brightened it up our uh, then. It didn't, did, yeah. You know. And for everybody at home who, know, who knows uh, Dave, this <laughs> is how you say flowers to your... <laughs> that's the tech version of flowers. Thank you, Dave, for reminding us about the flowers. I was standing They're next to so them. They're just so pretty. Yeah. I love them. Shabbat shalom, everybody, and stay healthy out there. Join us on uh, Am Israel Chai. It's on page 642. Since this Torah portion, at least the beginning, was so much about uh, our Jewish identity. As you go in, right? There we go. Am Israel, 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 Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Take care of each other out there.